Hello, welcome back. Today we're going to go over how you can go about adding embedded data to responses after they've already been recorded. Now this comes up often where people are supposed to be categorized into different groups based on branch logic, but unfortunately either the branch logic wasn't added correctly or something wasn't set up properly or the survey wasn't published. And for that reason, these people don't get assigned specific embedded data values or aren't put into specific categories as a result. Now, the way in which you're gonna go about fixing this touches on this video, which highlights how to manipulate already recorded data, but this takes it a step further where you're going to be doing this on a mass scale. Now heading to the survey, we're gonna go over a very common example where this happens. So if we go into the survey, head over here, I'm going to add some branch statements. So let's say that if someone selects that they're extremely likely to recommend this to a friend or they are somewhat likely to recommend this to a friend, we want their group to be promoter. I'm going to duplicate this and detractor and then change these conditions so they're the exact opposite, extremely unlikely and somewhat unlikely. Now, so I made this change and I'm going to head to my distributions tab and then copy that survey link and then take the survey. So I'm going to click extremely likely, extremely, all these good stuff, and I record the response. Now something to keep in mind is that I didn't publish the survey after these changes. So they actually won't affect the data set in any way. This is something which comes up fairly frequently where someone makes a change doesn't publish the change, and unfortunately that data is lost. Now how to fix this is to identify these conditions which would put someone in this group. So I'm looking for the people who selected extremely likely and somewhat likely to question one, extremely unlikely and somewhat unlikely to question two, and then put them in promoter and detractor accordingly. So while in this particular scenario, if I go and look up group, here. So let me add this field group. It'll be blank for everyone. So unfortunately, in this scenario, none of this data is saved. But the way to get that data and put it into the data analysis tab is to do something called bulk editing and bulk updating. And the way in which you're going to go about doing that is the first filter for the specific responses you want. So in this case, I'm gonna filter for Q1 is somewhat likely and extremely likely. And I get these 89 responses. And then what I can do is check these guys, select all 89, and in the top right corner, this pencil will allow me to edit all the values for these 89 responses for a particular field. And since I missed that these guys should all be in the promoters, I'm gonna go back to this group, change this to promoter, and then wait. So now this request starts pending, and then for all these responses that should have been promoter, but weren't, now they've been updated to that new value. So I'm gonna refresh. And then you'll see those responses that didn't have any value previously, now were updated to promoter. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing for the detractors. Check them all off. Choose that group field.
and then the request starts pending. I refresh one more time. And looks like it's gonna take a little bit more time. Okay, looks like it's about to fill in here. I refresh one more time and it should pull through. All right, still taking a bit of time. But now, after I do that, then what will happen is all those promoters and attractors who were originally supposed to be in will then have their values filled in moving forward. So now this is a way to backfill data. Interesting. So I may, did I save that correctly? Let's see, I'm gonna try that one more time. Group. Ah, there we are. So now it just filled in. So for the responses which were supposed to be filled in, but hadn't gotten filled in, this is a way to backfill them. And then now for the responses which are supposed to be put in these different categories moving forward, then these branch statements will make sure that they're put in the correct categories after I publish the survey. Now to recap, the way in which we can go about editing and adding embedded data to collected responses is to do the following. You're going to want to head into the survey flow, add the embedded data value you want, and then in the data analysis tab, if you know the specific categories people are supposed to fall into, then you can bulk update them at once by checking off the responses that fit a particular criteria in a filter, clicking this pencil to edit, and then you can edit that field so they can put all those people in one category at the same time. Hope that clarifies things. If you guys have any additional questions or concerns or anything else you wanna go over, please feel free to reach out in the comment section below. Always have to clarify anything or go over anything further. Hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and I look forward to seeing you again soon in the next video. Take care.